here is my reef. It's been set up since August of 04. And unfortunately, as you can see by my lighting, I can't really mount any kind of actinic supplementation with the way I have the setup now, which is just on a shelf mounted over the tank. So this has been something I've been struggling with for a long time. And my idea was to run some T5s running perpendicular to the tank in between each of the halides but I really didn't like the way that would look. So, recently ReefBright came out with their new XHO LED setup. And these are the Luminarc Minis, so they're about 14 and a half inches long. So the neat thing about the new ReefBright XHOs is that they're 15 inches long and they have 12 LEDs in them, which are three watt LEDs. So. I called up ReefBright and I wanted to see if I could have them make me a fixture that is the XHO without the new blast uh, black uh, powder coating and go with the extruded aluminum to match the Luminarc reflectors. So Joy over at ReefBright was kind enough to help me out. But it took some minor, minor modifications to make it fit the reflector so it's all one piece and it kind of goes with the setup as best as you can get and I'll show you that in a minute once I mount it but anyway so here's the 15 inch reef bright light here very cool 12 LEDs like I said extruded aluminum very nice finish very heavy very thick aluminum and normally when you get this these are the brackets that come on either side and they're attached to it kinda like kind of like that. You can see that. Let me zoom out here. That's how they're attached. So what I did was I just took them apart and then very carefully I made a hole in the center of the fixture. One eighth, one eighth inch drill bit all the way through and then nine sixty fourths halfway. That way it'll give the screw something to bite when you screw it in there. The other thing I did was modify the bracket from a 90 degree to, I don't know what you'd call that, probably, uh, uh, I don't know, 60 degrees or so, I guess. And uh, I did that so that when I put this over the tank, I can mount it to the reflector just like that. And again, I'll turn this on so you can see how powerful these are with the halides that I have now. And these are uh, 175 watt uh, ice cap ballast with the PAR busters from uh, Iwasaki. And they're a uh, 15K Iwasaki bulb. As you see, it's really a white, white light, which is nice, but I've always wanted that actinic look, you know, dawn dust kind of effect. It'd be kind of neat to have. I've never actually had it. So that was my goal. And I think I've actually achieved it with these. So let me uh, go ahead and turn this off and I will connect. Okay, here's the reef bright mounted to the reflector. And this was really easy. All I did was just find the center of the 15 inch, which is not exactly 15, it's actually a little shy of 15 inches. But I found the center and of course you just drill a hole through the center of it in the back here. And then I line this up with the reflector where I wanted the light to be. Now, the neat thing about using the Luminarc is that I wanted this so it's angled at a point where it would actually any actinic light that's reflected off the surface would go back underneath the reflector and be reflected, of course, back down again. So at nighttime, you really get that, that look. I mean, it's just, it'll actually light. This tank is a 240. It'll actually light pretty much the whole tank it'll just anything that's fluorescent will just just be lit up it's just gorgeous but uh, that using the luminar reflectors neat you can actually do that so again you want to angle this or however you want to do it you know you can have two on either side I did mine in front like this and have it reflect the light back down into the tank that way you can kind of soak up every bit of actinic light you get off these things but you can see the uh, the color difference in the tank 
you see how it almost makes the sides look yellow and then the center has a nice blue hue I hope that shows up here I can really see it standing here it's really quite amazing but normally what I'll do is I'll run this wire uh, to the back of the setup and then you know do the best I can at disguising it because you know there's really not much to work here it's a black wire up against aluminum so it's going to stick out like a sore thumb but what I've done is run it under here all the way to the back so you'll see it in the back of the reflector going to the power supply uh, the ballast power supply all the way down and then I have that connected to a reef keeper light which uh, I run this for about 14 hours a day and my goal is to you know cut back on the halides during the day and run the LEDs a little more and um, that's the goal we'll see what kind of growth I get out of these LEDs right now uh, with just the time I've had it set up I've noticed some beautiful coloration on uh, this um, pink Millie uh, on a frag of bonsai I got that just looks gorgeous under it and pretty much you know everything just kind of fired up I mean all the zoos that I've got down here at nighttime are just just freakish looking just gorgeous and of course mushrooms but this is how I mounted it it's very easy to do now you have options the way I did it was I left the bracket showing so when you look at the fixture you can still see the bracket if you don't want to do it like that which I understand you can actually take this out and then put the bracket underneath and mount it like that that way you don't see anything here and it just looks like the um, the uh, the pendant here is just part of your reflector you can do it like that I, I really didn't mind since it's all aluminum it all kind of matches and I think it's kind of cool to show off your your hardware anyway so anyways I would take this at night but I actually tried to take a picture of it last night and it just doesn't show up like I know I've seen so many posts uh, on YouTube where they try to show how amazing the actinic looks and it just doesn't show up so I won't even try it but it does it looks absolutely beautiful the neat thing about this also is if you see here the edge of the reflector almost lines up with the edge of this pendant here just almost on both sides so it's it's almost as if this pendant was designed to go with the luminarc reflector and I gotta say I love it and if you contact Joy over at Reefbright, very nice lady just uh, tell her what you're interested in and, and they're, they'll custom make them from what she was telling me you, you can go any size you want um, you know they can cut them down a little bit they can add to them they're totally custom order if you wanted um, you know they're really a, a, been a joy to deal with and that is the Reef Bright LED pendant the XHO LED and let me step back again and when you look at it from afar you have to kind of zoom in on it in order to really see it so I'm pretty happy with them as you can tell see you later